Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney is planning a news conference today to talk about the sudden resignation of Police Commissioner Richard Ross. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Koob is live at police headquarters with more on the developments no one saw coming. Good morning, Dan. Uh, good morning. A lot of surprise people after Richard Ross will be vacating the same position he's had with the Philadelphia Police Department since 2016. Afterwards, we learned of a federal civil lawsuit filed alleging sexual harassment along with racial and gender discrimination in the department. Ross himself not personally accused, but in the suit filed by two female officers, Audra McCowan and Jennifer Allen, Ross did not intervene when Officer McCowan came to him to report sexual harassment from another officer, which according to the suit, Ross did nothing about as retribution for McCowan, ending her two-year relationship with Ross. Now, Ross reportedly had offered his resignation to Mayor Jim Kenney over the weekend. Kenney declined that. As we told you in the last half hour, just last week in a press conference, Kenney introduced the former police commissioner as the best in the entire country. At the bottom of the hour, we'll take a longer look at Ross's resume. But for now, live outside police headquarters, Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Dan. And Philadelphia's acting police commissioner is now Christine Coulter. She has nearly 30 years experience in law enforcement. Coulter is a three-star deputy who most recently served as deputy commissioner of organizational services. Now, among her duties, Coulter oversaw the use of technology to improve community policing, and she has a master's of science in public safety management from St. Joseph's University. And stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of Richard Ross's resignation. We'll bring you the very latest developments, including Mayor Kenny's news conference later today on TV and online at CBSPhilly.com.